Thursday night football is here. We've got a primetime matchup between the Bills, the Dolphins. What am I taking? Who's winning? Well, I got you on the way. I've got three best bets and a bonus ladder leg for you guys here. And you guys know the teaser of the day is on the way. Let's get into these winners. This is the free three. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Noble Living, back with another DYF Bets video where I'm bringing out my of the day. As we're just trying to get to the bag together, we're just trying to make that money. Now, yesterday, one and two on the channel, we got our WNBA best bet of the day right man WNBA has been going pretty good for us we were like battling 500 there for a little bit we've been able to string together two three four straight winners during the WNBA got the aces on the spread right no sweat bet there also gave you guys a bonus pick at the end to go with Asia Wilson's points over 26 and a half she finished with 27 so really it was a two and two day on the channel so you can't be too too mad at that we did lose on Luis Gill's pitching outs and the Padres money line so both of our MLB plays did lose yesterday Today. hate to see that the Padres were getting perfect games all the way into the seventh inning the Mariners were keeping them at bay Brian Wu was pitching really well really tough to see that so that was a loss and then Gil just couldn't keep his control couldn't he got out of the fifth inning but he just had like 95 pitches so just kind of tough to see that the Royals were not swinging at nothing out of the zone so tough to see that two, two on the day yesterday now let's bounce back today let's get into these winners for this thursday night primetime matchup and if you haven't smashed that subscribe button just yet feel free to do so because we're going to be here every single day dropping picks all throughout the nfl and college football season now let's get into these winners for today for my first best bet of the day, you guys know what I'm going to do real quickly here is I'm going to give you my teaser of the day. So obviously that's kind of like a new kind of maybe segment or thing that I'm doing. It's like taking a teaser in these big primetime games, unless there's just a side that sticks out to me that I really like. Otherwise, I'm going to tease it so I can get the extra point insurance here. Bills, Dolphins, what do I like here? Neither of these teams really impressed me in week one, if we're going to be honest, okay? They were both able to make a nice comeback victory. The Bills, they were able to come back after trailing in against the Cardinals 17 to 3 they were able to go on a 31 11 run to win that game 34 to 28 meanwhile on the other side for the Dolphins they started off pretty lackluster as well took them a little bit of time to get things going before they were able to kick the game winning field goal there which led to a 2017 win against the Jacksonville Jaguars so both teams right now there are a few question marks surrounding these teams especially on the defensive side for the Dolphins and on the offensive side for the Bills we know they're in the offseason that the Bills lost their two wide receivers in Stephon Diggs and Gabe Davis and it's going to take a little bit of time for them to be able to figure out that chemistry on the offensive side. I think that's one of the main reasons why Josh Allen used his legs primarily, especially in the red zone. He didn't want to make any throws that might come back to hurt him and haunt him. We saw him throw an interception. We saw him have that fumble. So we know the turnover prone Josh Allen is still there at times, but I do think that when he uses his legs, he can be one of the most dominant quarterbacks quarterbacks in the league. He ran for 39 yards on nine attempts to go with two touchdowns on the ground. And then he was able to still for throw for two touchdowns with his lead receiver being Keon Coleman, the rookie there out of Florida State. He had four receptions for 51 yards. He was a leading receiver, nine only yards, but also receptions as well. I think as the season goes along, we'll see them be able to start be able to get more a little fluidity on the offensive side. Meanwhile, defensively for the Dolphins, we saw Jalen Ramsey was a little bit banged up. He's dealing with that hamstring injury. A defensive line doesn't have Bradley Chubb, who's on the pup list, also without Christian Wilkins. So there's a lot of question marks surrounding that defense there. They were able to hold the Jacksonville Jaguars to only 17 points. But to me, that's not that impressive because that Jaguars offense is one that is retooling themselves. As a result, I do think that the Bills are the better team in this matchup here, just considering the fact that we know that it could become an offensive shootout with what both of these teams have offensively. But I think the question marks surrounding the Dolphins defense it can come down to a late game possession last game field goal that's why I'm not really wanting to take the two and a half points on the Bills so I'm going to take them up a little bit here to plus eight and a half and then we're going to go over 42 and a half minus 120 now I will admit this is one of those teasers that I don't think I think we can get the right in the middle in all honesty because I don't think that we, if you tease it up six points and take the under I don't think that we're going to get to like 53 and a half points I don't 
don't think either of these offenses are that good. But I do think that we can go over the 42 and a half point total because that's really like a 28-24 final. And considering the fact that the Bills dropped 34 points last week and they were gosh for 28 points. Meanwhile, the Dolphins started off a little bit slow, but were still able to score 20 points in that matchup. I still think that they can easily drop 24 points on this Bills defense, which did look really bad to kind of get things started. I think the Cardinals blew that game more than the Bills won that game, in all honesty. So because of that, I'm going to be willing to take the Bills here, plus eight and a half. There's no Raheem Mostert for the Dolphins. We know that's their starting running back, but their backup running back, Akan, there's a lot of question marks surrounding him as well. He's a game time decision. So I don't know what all that offense is going to look like. And if that means that they're going to have to depend solely on Tua, then uh, I don't know. It means Mike McDaniel is going to have to get deep in his bag there. And I think this one could come down to the last possession. But I think both of these offenses are strong enough to go over the total. But like I said, I think we're in that kind of that middle ground when it comes down to that for the teaser standpoint. But I really do want to take the Bills plus eight and a half. Or if you want to take them as a single, I would buy it past that field goal number of three and a half. Like I said, we're starting to see the two and a halfs on the books here. So because I like this teaser here, now what are the corresponding picks that go with that analysis? First thing and foremost, I talked about Josh Allen not really depending on his wide receivers. He only threw it 23 times last game. Yes, he had 18 completions, but there was still a lot of question marks. And one of the guys who got a good chunk of those completions was the running back, James Cook. So as a result, I'm going to take over 18 and a half receiving yards, minus 110 odds. Now, James Cook in this season opener, he did play a lot of snaps because he only threw the ball 23 times, but Cook carried it for 19 times, right? James Cook was still able to get 32 yards in receiving in that opening matchup on only three catches on only three targets. So he caught everything that was thrown to him. And if you look at his numbers historically, he topped this total of 19 receiving yards in nine of the 17 games last season. So that's not really that bad. And he had at least 14 receiving yards in 12 of those matchups. And in four games against the Dolphins in his career, he's averaging 26 and a half receiving yards. So because the chemistry is not necessarily there, Josh Allen wise with some of his wide outs I can see a lot of dump offs happening here and you know Josh Allen is a guy who likes to create time he likes to get out of the pocket and that could also lead to some like quick little screen passes to the receiver just different ways that they can get James Cook involved here and last week against the Jaguars Travis Etienne their running back he only had two receptions for 15 yards so not like the most noteworthy thing but in the 12 passes completed by the Jaguars two of those went to the running back so that's can kind of give me confidence here that James Cook should still be heavily involved in this offense here. I can also take a look at his receiving and rushing yards as well. I do think that's not a bad look as I do think that he's going to get a heavy dose of the run in this game as well. But for me, I like James Cook here out of the backfield to catch a few passes. No reason why he shouldn't be able to see half receiving yards as our second best bet of the day. Now for our third pick of the day, another wide receiver that I'm expecting to have a great game today is Mr. Jalen Waddle. I'm going to take over 65 and a half receiving yards minus 115 odds and fan duel now he started off the season very strong last week he had a five receptions to go with 109 yards now that was very much helped out because he had one catch for 63 yards but that's what can happen with Jaden Waddle he has that type of explosiveness it only takes one screen pass it only takes one deep pass it only takes one double move for him to be able to get open and completely blow this thing up and go over this receiving total now one thing that I really like in this matchup is how well the Bills have done historically guarding Tyreek Hill. They make it a point to be able to try to make him not a focal point of the offense. In four games against the Dolphins, in, in the five games against the Bills in his career since he was traded to the Dolphins, Tyreek Hill has had seven catches for 69 yards and no touchdowns, seven yards for 82 yards, three catches for 58 yards, nine catches for 69 yards, and then two catches for 33 yards. That that's not really Tyreek Hill numbers. Yeah, he had one performance with 82 yards, but everything else was 69 yards or below. Tyreek Hill is a guy that you're expecting to get 100 plus yards receiving, even if you look at his total this week, it's like in the 80s and the 90s. So for me, I think the Bills are going to be extra focused on Tyreek Hill, double coverage, over the top safety help, and that should lead one on one coverage for Jalen Waddle, and he should be able to exploit that today. He should be able to eat on that. And then when you look at some of his performances, Jalen Waddles against the Bills in his career. Last start against them last year, only five receptions for 46 
yards. But in the two starts before that, three receptions for 114 yards, four receptions for 102 yards. That was back in two. So that's what I can expect today from him. Last week, Colin Murray, he did not really exploit this Bills defense as much as he should have. You may want to take a look at the longest reception for Jaden Waddle as well. I'm not opposed to that, but I think the 64 and a half receiving yards is the best look considering the fact that I do lean the over here and then also that the Bills should be able to looking to take Tyreek Hill away. For my fourth and final pick of the day, I'm just going to give you a quick little bonus player prop parlay, a QB parlay, a ladder leg, if you will. And I'm going to go with Josh Allen and Tua, both of the quarterbacks tonight. I'm going to take Josh Allen over 26 rushing yards, Tua over 32 pass attempts. You parlay those two together, you get to plus 100 odds. Now, I kind of gave you guys the numbers already when the analysis. Josh Allen, he ran for 39 yards last week. I'm expecting him to use his legs again today. Not 100% familiar with those wide receivers. No reason why he shouldn't be able to escape pressure sometimes, take off, especially in the red zone. We know that's what he likes to do. Now, Tua threw for 338 yards last week on 37 attempts. I don't know if he necessarily gets those amount of yards against Bills defense, but because I lean towards the over, because I lean towards the Bills, I think that they're going to be the team that has the lead, and that means that Tua is going to have to throw the ball. 37 attempts last week. No reason why we can't get it at 32 attempts. His line right now is about like 34, 35. So I teased this down a little bit. I like that here. And then given the fact that no Mo start, maybe Noah Khan there at game time decision, or if at very least he won't be 100% healthy, that means they're going to have to rely on Tua given the fact that they're going to have a bang up number two running back, a number three running back in the game as well. That means that the pressure is going to fall in this pass game today to uh, over the pass attempts I'm not going to necessarily bank on the yards but I'll bank on the fact that he is going to have to throw it and Josh Allen he loves to use his legs that is the latter leg of the day well, that's it for me today, my friends. Four best bets, four quick winners that I'm giving you guys in this NFL Thursday night matchup. We're going to go with a teaser here. Bills plus eight over 42 and a half. Then we're going to go with James Cook over 18 and a half receiving yards. We're going to take Jalen Waddle over 64 and a half receiving yards. And then we're going to go for a quick little ladder leg. Josh Allen over 26 rushing yards, two or over 32 pass attempts. That should get you around plus 100 odds there. For more best bets that I'm dropping throughout the day, don't know how much other football plays that I'll add, but I will have maybe a little parlay for you guys to go with maybe one or two MLB plays in a nerfy. That will all be inside the Discord group where I'll drop those picks. All right, my friends, let's get to that cheddar. Let me know what you're taking in tonight's game as we continue to run up that bag and get to it in this NFL season. All right, my friends, let's get to that cheddar and I'll see y'all in tomorrow's video. Later, gang.